Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome to a brand new style of video. So today I'm going to be telling you an exciting true story all about my day. This will be an audio only episode, so that means you can whack it on whilst you are doing the dishes, working out at the gym, lying down on your bed, whatever you want to do. Please comment down below and let me know if you enjoy this type of video because if you do, I'm more than happy to make some more. Right guys, enjoy the story. As the morning sun peeked through my curtains, I eagerly anticipated the joy of preparing a cup of tea to start my day. However, my enthusiasm was met with a horrific sight, an empty tea bag container. Determined not to let this minor setback cast a shadow over my day, I looked outside and to my glee I see bright blue skies and a big yellow sun. Embracing the British spirit, I liberally applied sun cream, whacked on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and ventured out on foot to the local Tesco. To my delight, a stupendous offer awaited me. Buy five boxes of tea and receive two additional boxes for free. Seizing this opportunity, I left the shop with my arms wrapped around a year's worth of tea bags, basking in the thought of all the delicious cuppers I had to look forward to. However, life's unpredictability took a whimsical turn as I exited the shop. The weather, initially sunny, decided to switch up on me, and raindrops began to descend from the sky like a waterfall. In a frantic attempt to escape the downpour, I desperately sprinted home, grasping my tea bags as if they were a life jacket. However, once I got home, I realised it was too late. The rain played its mischief, causing the once dry tea bags to get wet and therefore start leaving a trail of brown tea stains on my once pristine white t-shirt. After returning home, I sought comfort in a refreshing shower, attempting to wash away the misfortune of my tea bag troubles. With a spring in my step, I delved into the day's work, filming not one but two new videos for my lovely audience. After four hours of hard work, concentration and focus, I had done it. I had successfully filmed two of the greatest videos to ever grace the platform of YouTube. With a charming smile, I stood up and went to turn the recording off on my phone. However, the cruel hand of fate played its tricks once more. My camera, unbeknownst to me, wasn't even on. It wasn't even recording. After four hours of talking to a dead phone, I had nothing to show for my efforts. The discovery of my camera's betrayal sent me into a fit of frustration. Unable to contain my anger, I hurled my phone out of the window in a momentary lapse of reason. To my surprise, a duck, seemingly intrigued by the commotion, waddled over and began inspecting the discarded device. Faced with the surreal situation of a duck looking through my phone, I made a spur-of-the-moment decision to engage in a wrestling match with this unexpected enemy. The skirmish between man and duck unfolded on my doorstep, a spectacle witnessed only by the rain-soaked streets and perhaps a few confused neighbours. In the end, I reluctantly accepted defeat. 
I allowed the curious duck to claim victory and possess my discarded foam. As I watched the feathered foe proudly waddle away, I couldn't help but marvel at the absurdity that had defined the day. In the aftermath of a hard day, all I craved was the simple comfort of beans on toast and a soothing hot bath. However, my dreams were squashed when I noticed the lack of bread in my cupboards. I can't believe this has happened again. They were empty. What was I going to have? Just beans on... beans? Thinking back to my peculiar incident involving the duck of death, I realised something. People were feeding that duck. And what do people feed ducks? Bread. There was my answer. Approaching the duck once again, I politely inquired if he could spare some bread. To my surprise, the duck, having looked through the contents of my phone, deemed me a kind and genuine soul. In a rather unexpected turn of events, he decided to return my phone and offered to provide the much-needed bread. The catch? I had to reciprocate with a portion of beans on toast. Without hesitation, I gladly accepted the duck's offer. Inviting my newfound feathered friend up to my flat, we settled down on the sofa, enjoying the camaraderie of a shared meal. As we indulged in beans on toast, we bonded over a casual game of Champions League football on the television. And so, in the heartwarming company of a duck that I had spent the afternoon fighting, my day finished with an unexpected twist and the simple joy of friendship. The end. Right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that one. As mentioned, this is a new style of video. Short, audio only, and chill. So if you do want to see more of these, please like the video, subscribe, comment down below, all that stuff. Sorry to ask, I know, but it does genuinely make a very big difference. If you are interested in booking some private one-to-one -one lessons, then just hit the link in the top comment. Finally, I would recommend checking out some of these videos here. So, this one is an interactive murder mystery, and this one is a test on your British knowledge. Both are exceptional videos, I promise. Right guys, thank you again for watching and until next time, cheers.